<clears throat> okay, so this is what we got. Um, I'm not exactly sure what yours this pertains to, but I know it's the B6 and B7 uh, Audis, um, which is your uh, A4, your S4, your RS4. I believe, well, obviously it's only the manual transmission. Um, if you have the issue where your cruise control doesn't work, um, your you can start the engine without putting your foot on the clutch. Then you have a clutch switch issue, which is this piece right here. It's like 32 bucks, 33 bucks. Um, we're going to go replace that. It is underneath your dash. It is dark outside, so I apologize for being limited light. I'm going to try to use a flashlight to uh, kind of give you an idea of where it's at. And, uh, this camera, I don't know what the hell is going on with it. This camera, I don't know what the hell is going on with it. I think it's working. I don't think it's working. It goes back and forth. The lights blinking, telling me it's on. Should be recording, but it isn't recording. <clears throat> this clutch switch uh, issue for this right here. You see it right there. That right there. Um, if you can start your car without pushing in the clutch, it's that switch. If your cruise control doesn't work, it's most likely that switch. Um, it also causes some weird issues when you're going to shift gears with the engine RPM not dropping down. So this is on a uh, B B6, B7, Audi, uh, A4, S4, um, an RS4. There's a panel under here, two 8mm uh, screws. Um, I'm going to drop that down and then we'll take another look. Okay, just so you know, um, this whole panel comes off. This whole thing right here. This whole panel right there comes off. You gotta take the side screw out, so you have to take the side cover off, two screws on the bottom, the whole panel drops out. So let's see. So there it is. See it right there? It's right there. Now we gotta get that thing out of there. Obviously I gotta unplug it. So that's unplugged. Not sure exactly how it comes out. Maybe turn it? Something? Yep. Oh yeah, just 90 degree turn and pull it out. So, it's a new one. It's a new one. I think we're going to just kind of push it in here. Turn it. And it's in there. That's it. Plug it back in. Looks like you can't get it wrong. So that works. So I think I'm going to eventually have to change this one as well because I don't think my brake lights are coming on like they should. So that's it. That's your clutch switch right there. That was pretty easy. Put the panel back on and we're good to go. So that was a pretty easy switch. Um, we'll go take it for a test drive and uh, see how it works out. Thanks for watching.